Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Metro 2033 Let's Play. It's been, uh, <clears throat> quite a while since my last part, about a couple weeks or so, and, oh shit. Yep, we're back to this part. Okay. But yeah, we're back. We're back in business. And, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really busy, so I'm trying to get these parts out as quick as I can. And, uh, actually, the past week, I've been sick with a cold. So, that's why you haven't really seen anything recently from me, except for that dead eye trailer. Okay, but enough about me, personally. Let's just get on with the damn thing. This part all over again, which was a real pain in the ass. Uh, I, I really hate this part with a burning passion. You know what can you do? You gotta. Sometimes you gotta do things you don't want to. And uh, this is one of those cases. Because, first of all, there's just an absolute flood of enemies, and they take quite a few bullets to take down. That's what really pisses me off, you know. It takes so goddamn long to kill these guys. So, uh, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Trying to actually... Oh, shit. Yep, forgot to mention that. You don't want to have your gas mask break. That is just to death. gas mask is fucked, to put it in the simplest way. But, uh, anyway, let's continue on. Screen still flashing red. Okay, let's see. What was that? <sighs> oh shit, no. <gasps> gas mask. I'm gonna, gonna use the map this time. There we go. See, I smart now. I figured it out. It only took me two weeks, so don't hate me for that. This is actually a really difficult part to find your way through because it's kind of confusing. But I believe this is where we go next. And uh, oh, yeah, perfect gas mask. <laughs> yep, we got his new gas mask, which is great, because our other one was completely destroyed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, oh, yeah, there's something over here. Sticky bombs, good. I think I can sell those, though. Well, I guess that kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, let's get through here. I gotta jump on top of this pipe or something. And he's not wanting to jump on top of that thing for some reason. Alright, let's check my mini map to see where exactly I have to go. And apparently I have to go over there. So I'm just gonna kinda take the lazy route and just head back all the way up this way. Assuming the whole area was just so, uh, this so you could kind of get your bearing, but, oh no, no, that was the right area. Just, we gotta go a different route, of course, you gotta be different. And, uh, that's a bitch. Yep, we gotta kill this. Stay out of the open whenever possible. Because uh, these things will eat you up. Like that. Like they jump on the ground. There's a second one, too. Um, oh shit. Okay. I'm just gonna run like a 
man, man. Okay. So I've got this little area here. Damn you. Oh, I wasn't gonna reload it. Damn it. Gotta get with the system, man. Holy shit. Okay. So I think I damn it, I can't go through there. Well uh, anyway, I thought I could go in there. Uh, I guess not. What? How the hell he still hit me? He's flying away. Oh, whatever. Damn it. So we gotta go up this little narrow plank of wood, because I really have no idea where the hell I'm going. I'm assuming I have to go here, but I'm not seeing a door that I can go through. around you can't even hit them really because they're just so annoying so right now I'm gonna kind of go on a suicide run here in a sense that I'm just gonna hope for the best and I can actually find out where I'm going Up there? Oh, we do Okay. Yeah. Maybe I have to go in there. What the hell's that? I know where I have to go is related to that area. Hitting it, per se. <laughs> I forgot what was the button to press to check my time. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go off of that. And uh, I think maybe up there? I'm not really sure. God damn it. This game's pissing me off. I just wish, just wish I had like a, one of those things where I could just tap the button and he dies. That'd be awesome. You know, you're always gonna have the game with... You're gonna have that one enemy that just pisses you off. Well, in Metro 2033's case, this is that one. And really, this guy is just the complete... ...asshole in terms of the game. Because he just uses complete bullshit tactics, you know. Jumping you when you're not looking, uh... Just kind of swooping in and taking a big chunk out of your health. If you're not careful. Like, literally, he can just kill you. But I, unfortunately, am having trouble killing him. Which is kind of funny. Because uh, I was actually pretty good at killing these guys. But now I suck at it for some reason. And. Uh, maybe about like 10 minutes in, I don't know, and I'm still trying to find the damn exit. I have no idea where this exit's at. Um, I did manage to find that area, which... He's fucking dead. Okay, so that should make it a little easier now, now that I don't have this giant demonic fucking thing chasing after me. But there's another one over there, so... I'm not too happy about that. the one 
thing I hate about this level is it's just so confusing. And you don't want to run out of oxygen either. It's very easy to run out of this level. Because, I mean, you're just running around wasting all your oxygen trying to find the damn exit. Okay, finally. I find the exit. And there's a trip wire with a bomb waiting right here to ruin it for me. No. Um, seriously, you'd be dumb enough to fall for that. But apparently I'm gonna trip it up anyway. Get out of here. this directly is another on the surface level. And, uh, damn, that was pretty elaborate traps for just a small little stash. Okay, finally. Beat the damn level. Oh my god. Well, part of it. This is technically part two of it. So, uh, And, uh, most of the game, you're gonna still have that crappy, uh, the bastard. It's not a good gun, I can tell you that it's not a good gun, but you get stuck with it for, like, the first part of the game. We're up for quite a ways. Basically, just gotta scavenge for supplies and look for whatever you can find to keep yourself alive. Such as military grade ammo. Military grade ammo is really good because it means you can buy new stuff. And I haven't bought anything yet because, you know, there's a really good weapon and I'm saving up for that because it's really expensive, but it is an awesome weapon. It's silenced, it's got all that good shit. I didn't mind them uh, when I was playing originally. You know, I, I kind of just avoided them, I guess. Just kind of let them run past me. But now, they're really becoming a pain in the ass. Okay, yeah, see, there's that area. Вот ты меня напугал, парень. Рад, что справился. Я, честно говоря, думал, что ты уже жмур. Молодца, отлично сработано. Oh, thanks, you had some uh, faith in me. Почти, почти пришли, еще один двор остался. Okay, so almost done with this shit. And good thing too, because I really don't want this to drag on to three videos for one part. But you know, this is that level that everybody loves to hate. You know, it's just. I don't know what, what they were thinking when they were making it like this. But uh, most of the time you want to try and stay behind the bourbon. Because 
is uh, let him lead the way. Really, because uh, most cases, like that one in the tunnels that I kind of screwed up on. Okay. Yeah, let Bourbon take the lead. Just things easier on yourself. Yep. Right there. Fucking Gonzalez. Gonzalez side. Love it. Love So fast. And you know, they just swoop right in. You know, you gotta take these guys out as quick as you can, because uh, they will kill you pretty damn fast if you're not careful. This is one of those parts where it's kind of like that one part uh, right where we're about to go with that station. You know, like the Lawrence Brown, really. Just kind of kill as many as you can and hold out. It's bad lag here. Holy shit. Okay. And um finally people. It's a Мы возвращались в метро. И я чувствовал, что мне в нём уютнее, спокойнее, чем в городе, где я когда-то родился. Где же мой настоящий дом? Да хоть на Сухаревской. Тем более у Бурбона там были друзья. Okay, people. We finally did it after one part and a shitload of running around having no idea what I was doing. In my case, I mean. We finally managed to get past Dead City and are moving on to Dry Station. But, that's gonna be for part 8, and I promise to God it will not take two videos to get through one level. And uh, I'll, I'll try not to die as much. I think this is the first part when you really start encountering, like, human enemies. Uh, bandits, I mean, that first part with Bourbon, you know, leaving that one station, that was kind of just a, just a taste of what was to come, and, um, really this part's kind of difficult, it's more of a stealth-orientated version, you kind of have to infiltrate, and, uh, those supposed friends, uh, will find out that they aren't exactly the friends he thought they were, so stick around.